Hey everyone, Steve here from the Zappable team and I've got a quick tutorial video for you here. What we're going to do is we're going to break down the process of creating your very first app and we're going to do that in some bite-sized videos. Okay, so we're going to break it up and in this very first video we're just going to cover the absolute basics for the first part of your app creation. Okay, so I'm just going to sign in to my account and in this now we're going to go and create our very own brand new app so on this left hand side I'm going to click on new app and this is going to ask us for some very basic app info okay so this is where we're going to name our app and we're going to give our app an ID now your app title if you hover over this little tooltip it clearly says this will be the title of the app the name that will be visible in the device okay so if you have a look at some of the apps that you have on your you know, whether it's your cell phone, mobile phone, or a tablet, you can see what the apps are called. This is simply what you want to call your app. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to call it something like Golf Swing. I'm going to leave it at that. And then the app ID, I'll hover over the little tooltip here, and we'll go through it says, for example, you would put com.app.mytitle, or my app title, or com.mybusinessname.keyword, if you had an app on golf tips, you could put com.mybusinessname.golftips. Now, it doesn't really matter essentially what you put in here because you will use this later on when it comes to uh, submitting your app and so on. But I would stick to, as you see in some of these examples here, obviously we're going to replace my business name with an actual business name. If you're in this field of business, you can obviously use the genuine business name that you're running. And then we'll put dot keyword at the end. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to use com.golfacademy, if this was the name of my business. And then I'm going to put something like golf swing at the end. Okay, so com.golfacademy.golfswing. So I've got the business name in there and I have my keyword in there as well. Okay, so my app title, golf swing, and my app ID is going to be com.golfacademy.golfswing. So I'm going to hit save and continue. And we're going to choose then from the default options here, which kind of application category this fits into. So given that it's golf, we're going to have this one fall under the sports. Obviously, in your circumstances, you're going to pick the one which is most appropriate to whatever your app is for. So I'm going to hit on sports and click continue. We have, in some respects, an app which we can now start to customize, okay? So I'm just gonna go through the header and footer settings with you in this video, and then we're gonna move on to the next one, uh, next part of the process in the next video to follow, okay? So for the header settings, you've got a couple of different options. If you click on this option here, you will see that you've got the option to add text, an image, or you can have it as transparent, okay? So if you put select text, for example, uh, if I start typing in here, whatever I put here, and as you can see, I've just written there, whatever I put here, that is what displays on the top of the app screen, okay? So if you're writing text, as I said, that is what is going to be visible there. So I could have, for example, on this one, I could have Golf Academy appear at the top if that's what I want. Or I could have, say, Golf Swing, you know, anything that you want to add in there. If, however, you want to change that to an image, select the image option there, and then it gives you the option to... Uh, it gives you the sizes, I should say, to create your own um, image that you want to upload. Okay, so if you want to add that, and then you can do that. You simply click on the pencil icon, and then it'll ask you where you want to add that from. So although this is not the right image on this one, you can upload from your PC or your lap, map, Mac or laptop. Simply hit the Add New button. You'll browse your PC or computer, and then you can select the image you want. Okay, so those are the options there. If you choose transparent. And basically, you just leave it blank, okay, with no text or no image. So, for this example, I'm going to leave it as text and I'm going to choose Golf Academy. On this one, we can alter the text color. So, we can use this color picker tool here by flicking through the colors that we want to use. If you know the hex code or RGB values, so the red, green, and blue value, you can put that in this section as well. So, for instance, I know the hex for white is uh, six Fs. So I'm going to add those in and choose that. So it's gone back to three Fs. So it goes to white on there, and then I can change the background color as well, depending on what I want. If I want it to be a solid color, I can do that. And let's say I'm going to go 
for a black background and white text, then I can use that. And you can see as I'm changing that, it's changing it in real time on this uh, sort of preview screen of the app there. Now for the footer settings, you just need to click to expand this area. And as you click to expand it, these options pop out below. So you can see the footer again, it's a very similar layout to the top one. We can try and match these settings up. I'm gonna choose a background color. I'm gonna click on the background color here and then make sure that I've selected black. And as I go down now, you can see that it's gone to black on this device. Simple, and that's all you need to do to get started. So I'm gonna go down here just beneath the app screen and I'm gonna hit on save. And once this is complete, this is gonna save our progress with the app generation so far. So I'm gonna bring this video to a close at this point now. Like I say, we'll move on to the other settings as we move forward. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.